Hello, my name is John. I'm Sean. We're in a band called Taking Back Sunday, and you're watching Riot TV. Yes, yeah, we're very excited. Yeah, Slime Dunk is a great fest. We have a lot of friends here, so it's going to be a lot of fun playing tonight. Uh, Motion City Soundtrack uh, is, a, is, a, is a good band that we've uh, toured with and, and played with a lot over the years, so uh, it's uh, it's cool to see them again. It's been a while. Yeah, I saw a little of their set. It looks hot and sweaty in there. Should be fun. Yeah, and actually we, we toured with, well, Sean and I toured with Say Anything probably in 2004 or 2005 when we were in Australia at Rome. That was 2004. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, it's it's cool to see those guys again as well. So yeah, it's, it's also cool to come come overseas and uh, well, yes. have some familiar faces. You know, it's nice. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Tour around the world, playing music with our friends, writing songs, drinking beer. <laughs> Who could ask for anything more? Can't complain. No. It's yeah. It's been a, it's been a pretty crazy year. Um, two now. or two years. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, the whole writing and, and recording of the record was was a, a really incredible process. And uh, and then since the records come out, we probably done three full U.S. tours. We've been to South America. We've been to um, the Philippines, oh. been to Europe, Australia, UK. This is, I think, our third time. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's cool. Like it. Well, I, at least, especially for me and Sean, this is our first time. I think touring the world this extensively, even though we've been touring for for ten years now. I don't. We've never gone so many places, and especially in such a short amount of time, so it's pretty amazing. My mom refers to John and I as the Baldwin Globetrotters, because we're from a town called Baldwin in New York. Does she really, or did you just make that up? I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> My mom doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> We decided we didn't hate each other anymore. That, that was the first step. Yeah. Um, well, Sean and I had uh, seen and, and hung out with Mark, uh, the drummer from Taking Back Sunday, uh, a, a good amount over the, the time that we were not in the band. And uh, uh, he was kind of the one who, who orchestrated everything. He missed John and I very much. He did, and he <laughs> and he really wanted to get the, get the gang back together. So he basically talked everyone into it, and um, so we had like a, a tentative get together where we worked on some songs and just kind of hung out, and uh, it went really well. And, and you know, ever since then, it's it's been just kind of uh, you know, for a while it was reconnecting and. and now it's just like uh, we're this weird little family, you know? full of dysfunction and weirdness. But <laughs> yeah. Somehow we get along, make it happen. Um, well, I know that that uh, from from what the other guys have said, they they actually wanted to use Eric Valentine again for new again, and. Um, I think it was a the schedule, answer. yeah. I think they were just ready to make the record, and he had another record that he was tied up in for for a long time, and and I think they just couldn't wait, and so they, yeah. So like, their I think their experience with him, from everything I've heard, was just amazing. Yeah, with louder the now, and uh, so they just wanted to work with him on everything, and and it didn't work out again until. This this newest record when Sean and I were back that we were able to make it happen again. And it was something I was really excited about because uh, I'm a huge fan of the band The Dwarves, and he did their uh, their record Come Clean, which was one of the most phenomenal sounding punk rock records I've heard in my life. 
And so that, I, I think I heard that in like 1999 or 2000. I was like, who the hell produced this thing? It sounds amazing. And then when I found out it was Eric, I'd always dreamed of getting the chance to do something with him. And then when he did Louder Now, I was really jealous. I wasn't there to take part in that. But we got to do it this time, so it was, uh, it was a great thing. He's a genius. Great. This was this album was self-titled. I think just because it, it felt to, to everybody like it was uh, the start of something new for the band, you know, and um, it, it almost felt like it was a first album, you know, because uh, even though the band has been around forever and we all uh, worked on Tell All Your Friends together, you know, it, it just. We're all different people now, and uh, you know, it just everything felt like uh, you know it, it, a rebirth. Pretty, yes, a rebirth, if you will. Yes, that's a good word. Will you? I will. <laughs> yes, a rebirth, and uh, yeah, so it made sense. I think we actually decided pretty early on. I think within the first couple of weeks of writing <laughs> yeah. that we were just gonna. It would be a self-titled record. It just seemed to make sense. Yeah, we are. It's uh, it's gonna be fun. It's a crazy thing. We, Sean and I have only done three weeks of work tour before. We've never done the whole thing, so it's a it's a, it's a pretty intense eight weeks. But uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's a lot of bands like I think we're we're gonna hang out with the old the old bands, the old dudes on the tour. Yeah, form a circle of hate. It's like us <laughs> and Newfound Glory and Bayside. I forget who else, who of our friends are on the tour, but all our buses will park together and we will shun <laughs> everyone that uh, has a fancy haircut. <laughs> fancy haircut. Yeah. Well, it'll be like a fraternity, maybe. We'll let some of the young bands in if they... Bring if us we, beer. Yeah, if we haze them. <laughs> yeah. All the hazing I have is, hey, bring me a beer. That's all <laughs> I have the, the gumption to do. I'll do some spanking. Yeah, well, I'll... It wouldn't be a John Nolan party without a little spanking. Yeah, when when we first were touring a lot, I was uh, I would definitely lose it after like three weeks on the road. I would kind of start just like not being able to function well and. Um, Somehow since then, like, I've just learned to kind of roll with it, and uh, we've done probably more touring in the past year than I did before that for, you know, like, two or three years, like, and, and at this point it's just, I don't know, something happened, I don't know if it's just growing up or just learning to just be happy with, with what's going on, even if it's stressful or whatever, but now I feel like I can kind of just tour indefinitely, and... Oh, I well. feel kind of insane still. Like right now, I feel crazy because I slept three hours last night and uh, flew here. Oh yeah, from uh, Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. But you know, it's just kind of like fine now. It doesn't make me as crazy as it used to. Yeah, and I think because we're adults now, we're kind of like, well, this is what we do for our living. This is our job, and we have to provide for our families now. There's like a kind of greater good yeah. instead of just being a selfish prick all the time and just making <laughs> making money to spend at the bar. We have real things we need. You're gonna turn the camera on. Oh, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. We'll let them hang out with us if I can uh, spank them all with my spanking paddle before. <laughs> that, that, that's the initiation. He has a big engraved paddle. Uh -huh. <laughs> JTN has initials. It leaves the, the, the initials on your on your ass when you spanking. <laughs>